All right, so tightening up the chain here, and you need to loosen up the uh, axle nut here. Once you got that loose, then loosen up that nut, and then you start to loosen up the, uh, the adjustment bolt there that will begin to push the axle back until you have the right amount of chain slack. You do need to have some chain slack on, on your chain or else you'll mess it up. As you can see, mine's just a probably a hair tight. So once you do that, you go ahead and do it on the other side as well. And you wanna make sure that you adjust them even so that you have even uh, tire wear and you see I use a caliber um, to measure the gap on both sides now you don't have to go by that because um, you could have even gap on each side but it's not aligned you you know your chain might not be aligned with your chain alignment tool so your chain alignment tool is really the key here um, you, you know if you're off like you know a millimeter or whatever a couple millimeters it's no big deal because there are variances in these um uh these swing arms but you see how i got that lined up there that's what you want to go with and that'll add to the longevity of the uh the chain and sprocket see clamps right in there All right, so when I do my chain cleaning, I like to use Maxima products. My chain cleaner works really good. Trusty grunge brush. Some chain wax. This stuff right here is really good at not uh, just grabbing a bunch of dirt and sticking to it, to the chain. And it stays on. Thanks for watching and remember every day is an adventure.